What happened? He fainted. Oh. David, what is he doing here? I was here. How are you feeling? I could like to get up off the floor. Right, just wait a minute. Just wait a second. All right? Your heart sounded fine, but I'd like to run some tests anyway. An EKG. Yes, yeah, you ridiculous. should. I don't mean that. It's not necessary. Yes, I think it is necessary. Oh, easy, really? easy, easy, easy. I'm you... so sorry. Would you like to lie down on the sofa or something? Yeah, or in the bedroom? Okay. No, 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 that's so okay. Sorry. Actually, I really would like to take her to the hospital. I don't need to go to the hospital, David. I'm fine. You're completely overreacting. And now you're the one with the medical degree? David's right, you know. You can't be too careful. Thank you. Sorry. Goodbye, Edna. Yeah. Alex? I'll be fine. Feel better. Thank you. Oh. Hope she'll be all right. Yeah. Whew. I mean, I'm sure she'll be fine with David and everything. Yeah. Is Maddie okay? She wasn't scared by the whole thing. No, Maddie thought it was a game, actually. So um, don't be surprised if she's practicing swooning for the next week or two. <laughs> she's so great. So are you, Doc. <sighs> What does she want, Dixie? She said she came by to talk to you, privately. Yes. About what? Or is it a secret? Sometimes secrets are not such a bad thing. Oh, so there is a secret? Yeah, perhaps. Does Dixie know about it? Perhaps. And David, I mean, is that why he came by out of... Would you like a job at Tempo as an investigator? Well, no, I, you don't study genetic coding, do you? You're being very mysterious. I want to know what's going on. Hello. Hey. What are you doing here? I don't know. Oh. Uh, Edmund, what's going on? I got your message. I gotta get back to the club, so... <clears throat> All right, that's my cue. I'll go check on Maddie. Maybe she'll tell me what you're up to. She's been trained to give away nothing. FYI, my birthday's not for months, and I'm 21 forever. What's going on? <clears throat> it's about Alex. Something wrong? No. No. Nothing's wrong. Things are great. Okay. Listen, you know, uh, Alex and I have been moving forward from friendship onward for a while now. Y yeah, Edmund, we talked about this before the wedding. I thought it was great that you, t you guys are together, and, you know, my mom thinks the same, so... Yeah, she told me. So, um... You're my brother. You're Maria's brother. And, and being such, I, w I wanted to tell you that I plan on asking Alex to marry me. And that makes her Maddie's and Sam's stepmother. So I wanted to make sure that was okay with you. Okay? Yeah. Hell yeah, it's okay. It's great, man. You don't have to ask me for my permission or my blessing. Just as long as you know it's right. I do. I love her, Mateo. And she loves you? Looks like. And the kids, they love her, and she loves yes, the kids. Yes, yes, everybody loves everybody. What else do you need, then, man? I mean, be happy. Life's too short. Hey, thanks. Mm. You know, I, I know my sister would approve, also. It's been too long, man. You need somebody in your life. You know, I would never forget Maria. It goes without saying. Give your kids a happy home, a happy family. That's all my sister would ever want. Okay? Yeah, thanks. All right, now down to business. How are you gonna pop this question? I have no idea. <laughs> That's why I called you over, man. I wanna make it big, I wanna make it unforgettable. And that's where you come in. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Taken care of. All right, what's next? Uh, uh, uh ring. You need a ring. I have a perfect... You I don't need a perfect. ring. Oh, my gosh, you do have a ring. Great, she's gonna love that. Okay. All right, good. All right, now listen to me. She's starting to suspect that something is up. Okay. Oh. You came by, Dixie came by. Whoa, whoa, Dave wait, wait. You told Dixie? Yeah, I told Dixie. You told Dixie? Yeah, why? Come on, man. She's... I know, but you know what? It was actually her idea. She was going to have me... I was going to propose to Alex. Right. At, at 
at her office, and she said, no, 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 it's not a good idea. Be more, more romantic, you know? Right. So that's why I started thinking. And then, right. and then she came over, and she was about to say something, but she fainted. She what? She fainted. She okay? I, yeah, I guess so. And then David shows up, David Hayward. Uh -huh. And he took her to the hospital for tests, but he said it wasn't her heart. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, thank God. So, uh -huh. where do we go from here? Everything else is arranged? It, it's all set, man. It's taken care of. What? Just don't tell anybody else, all right? She's smart. Alex will pick this up, yeah, all right? You, you just don't, don't know how smart she is, you know? I'm, I'm trying serious, to keep her I'm trying to play it up. Hi, Alex. Hey. Hi. 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 How are you? Great. Great. Cool. I, I, wow. Whew, I've got to go. Errands and stuff like that. So right. the Yankee game, we'll go we'll do later it. on. Thanks right. for coming Send my love to Haley. I will. Do. I will. Okay. Oh, okay. Did you get all squared away? Yeah. Thanks, yeah, pretty much. How's Maddie? Fine. So. Okay, what are you up to? When you were a little girl, you used to find all your Christmas presents before they made it under the tree. Well, yes, I did do that one year, and it sort of ruined it for me, and I never did it again. There's a lesson to be learned there, you know. Oh, well, you know what? I hate secrets. I hate them. Oh. <laughs> all right, fine, I'll tell you. You want to know, I'll tell you. I, I mean, wasn't going to tell you, but... You don't have to tell me. I'll tell you. I wanted to take you out to dinner someplace nice. The restaurant was full, so... I called Mateo because he knows somebody that works at the restaurant. Figured I could get a nice table, and he said he would try. And Dixie came around because... Because I was going to get a present for you, and she was going to help me pick it up. Wow. Hmm. Presents and dinner. <laughs> What's the occasion? Do I need a nice occasion to take my girl out? I just wanted you to dress up real nice. Maybe I could show you off a little bit. Will you dress nice, too? Clean socks, both of them. Let's not push it. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Is it a date? today. Deal. Hello. Hi. You're smiling. That's awfully nice. Well, I just got a god shot. I think he's giving me yet another chance. What does that mean? It means that whatever David's therapy is doing, it seems to be working. But your treatment isn't over, is it? No, no, no. I got to go back to see you for more of the same. But they feel the prognosis is excellent. That's wonderful. That's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. What are you doing, though? You shouldn't be out of the hospital, should you? Well, kind of snuck out. <sighs> hmm. But, uh, thought I should show up here tonight. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> you know, Dixie, I have often been very quick to call him out. And I truly believe that he enjoys playing with me. But tonight, I now know the reason why I have been given chance after chance to stay in this world. Of course. After everything you've been through, you deserve to be happy. I was able to live long enough to see Alex safe and in peace. You know, it's because of Alex that you're getting better. It's your love for her that's making you well just as much as David's treatment is. is the brightest, most vivid image in my heart. Well, now that you're getting better, what are you going to do? Are you going to go to her? Are you going to tell her that you're alive?
mustard seed. And you must be very uncomfortable. You <laughs> owe me big. Yes, I do. Anything for love, besides to think of scoring big points with my wife, if you All know right. what I'm saying. I do. Okay. The staff did a great job, didn't they? Yeah. It looks like a magic forest, doesn't it? Are you sure that uh, Alex is into this Shakespeare stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not Midsummer working. Night's Dream is her favorite okay. play. She knows every line. No that's why we're all dressed up, guys. And that's why we're going to put on a play. And afterwards, Daddy's going to ask Alex a very and important we're, question. And we're all going to cross our fingers and hope she says yes. Cross your fingers. Where's Alex now? Is she ready? Yeah, yeah. She thinks we're playing some game with the kids and Haley's waiting for my cue. So, Excellent. you're ready. Okay. You guys know your lines? Okay? You know your lines? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, okay, cool. Okay. Well... Here we go. Wait till you see Daddy later. <clears throat> Lord, what fools these mortals be. Are these the enchanted woods? Oh, the iron tongue of midnight hath told twelve. And there is strange magic in the air. Fair love, my heart unto yours is knit, so that one heart we can make of it. to her and hold her in my arms. I want to look into her face, see the disbelief, and then watch it break out into that wide smile of hers. At least she smiles when I imagine it. But what would it really be like to walk back into her life now? Do you know that Alex has been helping David plan your it, treatment. That patient is someone in Palo Alto. Yes, but I've heard her say many times that she wishes she could have done the same for you. And we both know that Alex would be happy to know I'm alive. The question is, is it the right thing for her now? Well, I don't know the answer to that. I used to think I did, but I don't. Only you can make that decision. Alex is just starting to build her life again. She's gotten used to the fact that I'm dead. Her love for me has changed to loving Edmund. But now that it seems that you're going to live, can you really just walk away and never see her again? would be like throwing a grenade into the life she's trying to build for herself. A life with Edmund. Well, how about when you've prayed about this, what answers do you get? Well, uh, I almost feel that we are back together again, the last happy moments on the plane coming to Pine Valley. And our lives are taken up from there and we go on together. Dixie, when, when you think God is talking to you, can you really believe in it? Well, sure, why not? I can. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But if I am going to make the attempt to see her, I have to sit down with Hayward and Silbert and make sure that I am finally No, 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 you don't have to do that. Look, if you want to go see Alex, you should go, okay? Don't wait. Just do it now. 